Never Stop Learning, week 176. We're gonna take a quick look at new guides from Shape, which is a new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. Now, this feature is gonna allow you to create guides that align with the edges of the selected shapes within the layer. So let's create some shapes and see how this works. Over here in the Tools panel, I have the Rectangle tool. I can click on it once to activate it or hit the U key. I'm gonna click and drag to draw a basic rectangle. And once I release, you see the properties panel jumps out. Over here, I can change the color of it by clicking on this color chip, and I'm gonna choose white just to make it a little bit easier to see on your screen. Now, to get rid of this properties panel, I'm gonna click right here where it says properties, and it's gone. All right, now that we have this guy selected here, if you don't see these little edges highlighted, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Over here in the tools panel, we have the path selection tool, or you can hit the A key. I'm gonna click on it once to activate it, and if I click once on the document, you see those little corners go away. That's because it's not selected. If I click and drag, then release, now the shape is selected and you see these little anchor points. All right, now that I have this shape selected, I'm gonna come over here to the view menu, scroll down, and that's where we're gonna find new guides from shape. When I click on it, it's gonna generate four guides, one at the top, one at the bottom, left and right. Now, we could also generate multiple guides for multiple shapes. So let me show you how to do that. Over here in the Tools panel, I'm gonna activate the Move tool, or you could hit the V key on your keyboard. I'm gonna Option, click and drag on this guy. And because I have my Smart Guides turned on, I'm gonna set this same gap for each one of these shapes. All right, so now this, this is gonna be like the beginnings for, let's say, a navigation bar for a website. And I wanna create some guides here so I could make everything fall into place. I wanna select all these shapes, so back over here in the Layers panel, I'm gonna shift click on this last uh, layer right here at the bottom. Back over here in the document, I'm gonna hit the A key to activate my path selection tool. Click and drag to select each one of these shapes. Now if I miss one of these shapes, it's not gonna generate a guide for me. Back over here in the view menu, scroll down till you find new guides from shape. And right when you click on it, you're gonna see all these guides set up. All right, so that's gonna allow you to build up your website a lot quicker. I'm gonna get rid of all these shapes by clicking and dragging and dropping them off in the trash can. Now to clear your guides, you wanna come over here to view, scroll down until you find clear guides. And when you click on it, all those guides will be wiped away. All right, so far I've just been creating these guides from basic shapes, but you could also create some vectors based off of text. So let me show you how to do that next. I'm gonna hit the T key on my keyboard to activate the type tool. I'll click once in the center of my document and just type out vector shapes, all right? And when I hit command, you see I get this little transformation box here. I'm gonna click and drag on one of these corners and that's gonna allow me to resize my text. If I hit the shift key, you see everything's gonna stay proportional. And if I introduce the option key, you see uh, it's growing out from the center of my document. I'm gonna release the mouse first, then the modifiers, I'm gonna hit Command Return to accept that change. Now I want the text in the center of my document. So I'm gonna hit the V key. I'm gonna click and drag on this guy and these smart guides are gonna let me know once I get to the center of my document. So here we go. Now if you don't see these smart guides, I'm gonna release, come over here to View, Show, and you're gonna see smart guides right in there. I'm gonna hit Escape. Now back to this text here. If you take a look over here in the Layers panel, I'm gonna right click on that text layer and I need to convert this. Instead of going to rasterize it, I started thinking about create work path because I know that's gonna generate some vectors for me. But because the action's called guides from shape, I started thinking, well, I should probably convert them to shape. So let's try that one first. When I click on it, at first, it looks like nothing really happened. But that's just because I have the move tool activated. I'm gonna hit the A key on my keyboard to activate the path selection tool. And now you see all these little anchor points around my shapes. All right, because I have all my shapes selected, I can come over here to the view menu, scroll down and find new guides from shape. And when I click on that, you see all these guides get generated. All right, now if this isn't what you wanted, if you only wanted four guides around the entire area, instead of a set of guides for every single shape, I'm gonna show you how to do that next. I need to back up a couple steps. So I'm gonna hit Command, Option, Z, and every time I hit that, it's gonna go back one step for me. All right, back over here in the Layers panel, you see we have these vector shapes. I'm gonna right click on that, 
and convert this guy over to a work path instead of converting it to a shape. When I click on work path, check this out. You see all these little anchor points here. Now, instead of coming over here to the view menu, I'm gonna right click on my document and I'm gonna find new guides from shape. Now, this isn't a different feature. It's the exact same feature, just in a different location in case it helps you out. I'll click on it and it's gonna generate those four guides for me. I have one at the top, one at the bottom, one on the left, and one on the right. And there you have it, folks. That's a brief overview of the new guides from Shape, which is a new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014.